Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in. So in this video I'll explain you how you can recover bad parts looking like this into some high gloss finished parts like it should be. So these parts were made during a tutorial, uh, during a workshop I gave and the results weren't always that great. So this is a finish we'll be aiming at at the end of the, of the video with a lot of labor and sanding and coating resin again. So to make this video a little bit more interactive, I'd, I've added a little game. Which car do you think will win the race? Will it be number one, two or three? Just write it down in the comments and you'll see it at the end of the video. So will it be number one, two or three? Make your guesses. So these were the baddest look looking parts. So uh, we'll try to fix that. So we'll start this by using a 100 grit on a sanding block and just start sanding off like all the bubbles and so on you have on the top layers. So the thing you had here is some re some resin was just against the mold, pushed against the mold without having the fibers aligned with it as well. And this was vacuum bagging, so a lot of air was trapped in between. So to start this up, you can sand it off. It might be scary if you're doing some first parts, so it might be a good idea to try it on some scrap parts you won't be using again and just see how it works out. So. This is how it looks like after sanding off the first edge of that little toy car. There's also a video that should pop up on the right top corner where I've made the molds for these parts if you're interested in the molds. So this is how it looks like when everything is sanded. So the biggest risk you can take is sand too much and go through the fiber. So this is the biggest risk you can take. So after sanding off all the first top layers defaults you can add some epoxy coating resin so this is one uh, epoxy resin from uh, easy composites and we'll be adding this on top of the part in multiple layers so some information this video was shot three months ago so uh, there was still some coating epoxy resin now the name has changed and this is how you can order it and find it on the website so now it's XCR epoxy coating resin so that's the name now and you can find it in a kit of 500 grams one kilogram or five kilograms or even more but uh, you can also find all the specifications curing times and this resin should be better than one I've used in the tutorial right here so this is how it looks like, uh, cleans uh, after sanding and now we're going to add the first layer but very important is safety so wear some gloves because it can get nasty with having the brushes uh, filled with epoxy and so on and now we're going to mix the resin so first thing is just mix the resin into the container first and then add it into a cup so I'm mixing 10 and 20 so these are the mixing ratios for this one I don't know if the resin uh, ratios have changed for the new XCR epoxy coating resin but this is for this one so I've mixed 30 grams so it's not a lot so you don't need to buy that much to repair parts like this but if you're making like a giant dyn a dinosaur epoxy uh, carbon fiber thing you should use some more but this is like an absurd topic I'm say talking about so, but like bonnets and so on will take more resin so this is the first layer I did three cars with this so uh, you can let it drip off and then you can let it cure so um, after three till four hours at an ambient temperature of 20 till 25 degrees it will cure so um, I think I found out it's I've leveled um, all the parts into the air on some blocks but here I find a new way to do it so I've used some play-doh cups and just mounted some uh, cardboard cardboard under it so I can move it around after skinning the parts so they don't have to lay on my table uh, during all day while curing so I can continue doing other stuff after I've added the resin so this is after the second layer of resin so you can add multiple layers of resin on top of each other uh, as long as it will chemical bonds to each other so if you're doing this after three to four, four hours when it's still tacky you can just add some more layers um, if you want to add some more layers when it's fully cured it's better to sand it so this the black dots you see here those are the low spots so I'll call it during the entire video low spots because these are spots that are lower than the resin all around that spot so the thing you will have to do is you have to sand uh, all the high spots and get as close as possible to the low spots but at some point it will only be possible by adding, adding more resin on top of it so 
The thing here I'm doing is I've cleaned the parts after sanding uh, dry and then I'm just doing the same sanding paper and doing it wet so this will also avoid um, all the low spots being filled with dust so that's a very important thing to avoid having dust in between so the next step it's very important uh, it was a slow shot um, a fast shot but it's important to use some scotch brights in between just to sand all the low spots as well so this is very important then you clean the part and you add the third layer and this is the fourth layer al already so a lot of time went in between those shots so you wait three hours you add a second coat and you let it cure overnight and then this is one day later you can sand everything once again so we're getting very close to having good results after four layers and this is the fifth layer so um you can already see a big difference with the start of the video and how it looks here of course these are very complicated parts to to get perfect because these were made to create those like uh, light lines you will see so the white lines so every small uh, defect and so on on the parts will be very visible because these are sold to see the right color of the paints you're going to buy on a new car or something so I've sanded it with some 800 grit cleaned it and now I'm just applying a tack coat so I call I call it a tack coat it's a very thin coat so then you wait 10 minutes and then you can add some more clear coats and a more heavy coats so this is a one case spray can uh, because these won't be exposed to hard scratches and so on and after curing you can get a result like this so um, this is the end of the video I hope you liked it uh, the results are quite good and now about the race well guess who won oh a little spin so the third scar won if you got it right give yourself a, thumb a thumbs up so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up it helps me out if you want to see some other videos I have other skinning videos and don't forget to follow me on social media like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching.